paging my traditional Republican colleagues. It's time to get off the sidelines, break away from the extremists, get in the arena so we can find a bipartisan path forward. Is Mr. that Jefferson, bipartisan are you path? open to the idea of at all of empowering Patrick McHenry to be an interim speaker or doing a, giving him the authority to oversee legislation? Are you open to McHenry specifically? Our focus right now relates not just to any one individual, but to getting the institution reopened. I have respect for Patrick McHenry. I think he is respected on our side of the aisle. There are a whole host of other Republicans who are respected on our side of the aisle. Jim Jordan is not one of them. But what would you say to some members of your caucus who have said that they're open to McHenry? Have they come to you and said, hey, we want to do something that empowers him so we can just get things going again? We continue to say that we're seeking a bipartisan path forward that's authentic, genuine, and that we want to agree upon in good faith. So is that not good faith or, or likely? There are informal conversations that have accelerated over the last few days. My hope now that it's clear Jim Jordan lacks the votes to be speaker, that those conversations will accelerate this evening. When you say accelerate, what exactly does that mean? Do you have any meetings planned with McHenry, perhaps, or leaders on the Republican side? Who I have no meetings planned with McHenry, but high-level members uh, on the Democratic side of the aisle are ready, willing, and able to have those conversations. It's looking like the administration is really side? Yeah. Sorry. When you say a bipartisan solution, does that mean five or six Republicans should vote for you, or are Democrats willing to vote for some kind of Republican? Uh, we have not, from the very beginning of this Congress, made this about any one individual on the Republican side of the aisle, and certainly not on the Democratic side of the aisle. House Democrats want to be reasonable here. We respect elections. We were disappointed uh, that we failed to hold on to the House in November of 2022, but we're not election deniers.